date was Tuesday, the 9th of May 2006. General Slobodan Priljak was on his feet in the courtroom in The Hague, cross-examining me, and it was not the first time we had met face to face. The other occasion was in September 1993, at his headquarters in the self-proclaimed statelet of Herzeg, Bosnia. General Priljak had signed an order allowing three reporters, including your correspondent, to enter a concentration camp under his command at Dretelj near the Bosnian Croat stronghold of Kaplinja, where Bosnian Muslim men were being maltreated, starved and killed. With so much attention around the sentencing of Bosnian Serb General Ratko Lodic last week, many have forgotten the supposed other war in Bosnia, in which Bosnian Croats tried to establish their own ethnically clean territory. Praljak stood accused that day in 2006 of being one of the leaders of that murderous enterprise. And I was called upon to tell the court what I knew of his role. Like the Bosnian Serb leader Radovan Karadzic, Praljak elected to defend himself, shunning lawyers and speaking volubly for himself. He shared Karadzic's swashbuckling madness, which would have been eccentric were it not so lethal. We don't have much time. Quote, Prowl Jack began, so please try to answer briefly and precisely. He was an assertive presence in any room, even this one. I had told the court how in September 1993 we were following up on a letter by the Croatian President Franjo Tudjman that suggested conditions at camps in Bosnia holding inner Muslims were not within the Geneva Conventions. We were repeatedly refused entry to Dretelj. But eventually, for reasons best known to him, Praljak signed the order to let us in. When we rolled up at the former Yugoslav army base and presented the order to the camp commander, a major Sakota, he was aghast but obeyed Praljak's order, and in we went.